In 2016, a biologist was convinced that her local fishermen could be key to solving the mystery surrounding one of the world's rarest marine species. But persuading them to help her seemed almost impossible. Women were banned from boarding their boats. Her mission took on an even greater challenge. We used to stand there taking photographs. They had no idea what we were doing. The first thing that I felt when I saw the ocean for the first time, I felt extremely insignificant. I had this huge like, passion that I need to do something in line with ocean conservation. Like many other women, Alifa felt the cool of the ocean and decided to dive deep into studying one of the most elusive and bizarre looking creatures on our planet, the sawfish. They're critically endangered animals by the IUCN Red List. Um, they, they have been declared extinct from many countries. Convinced that sawfish were still living along her hometown shores, Alifa's investigations hit a major problem. An age-old superstition states that bringing a woman aboard a fishing boat was guaranteed to bring bad luck. And unfortunately, this myth is still very strong in Bangladesh, where she chose to begin her research. It's very difficult to travel in Bangladesh in many parts of the country, especially if you're a woman. Fishing communities in Bangladesh, especially the coastal fishing communities, are very vulnerable. We used to just observe. We used to stand there taking photographs, talking to people. It was very important for us to build the trust amongst fishers and the people we work with in the fishing communities before we can actually um, dive down into the research questions. Somehow, a trust was being built. We found out there are so many species that we didn't really read about and we didn't know Bangladesh has but they were there, they were landing on a very regular level. The long, flat protrusion of cartilage, also known as a rostrum, is what gives the sawfish its common name. The teeth along the side margins are in fact modified scales. This unique anatomical feature is used during feeding and for defence. Slash side to side, it dislodges invertebrates from the ocean floor and is also used to stun schooling fish. Rarely seen, their numbers appear to have diminished massively over the last few decades. There are fishers who hasn't seen a sawfish in the last 20 years. There are fishers who have seen one in five years. There are fishers who would say, we don't have sawfish anymore. In 2016, we did not encounter one single sawfish in at least eight landing sites. So we had an idea that maybe we have lost sawfish altogether. However, Alifa felt that not all the fishermen's catch data was getting through. Some were probably more suspicious than others about her motives. So Alifa had an ingenious idea. We created this cell phone generated reporting system, which was absolutely anonymous from the a reporter's perspective. They would take a photo from their phone and they'll send it back to us. And very simple data like how long was it, where it was caught from, and the weight, who bought it, and DNA samples as well. Using this network, we actually encountered more than 40 landings um, in about 15 months period. After countless efforts, Alifa and the team found out that sawfish were still present in the area. But their mission to save this very special species and its habitat faced another problem. Most of the sawfish would get caught as bycatch, but they are retained because they, there is a huge value um, to this species and a readily available market. Sawfish is highly valued across Bangladesh due to another superstition. People believe that its meat can cure human diseases. Through our research, we found out more than a thousand interviews throughout the coast. Think that sawfish meat cures cancer. In order to convince fishermen to release the sawfish back to the sea, Alifa felt education was key. We ran like more than eight workshops throughout the coastal zone. We conducted more than 300 interviews with different fishers, identifying what barriers they think they have and what solutions they want for that individual barriers. The fishers actually came up with solutions which we couldn't even think about. One of the fishers actually said, if we're releasing a sawfish live, instead of giving us rice or an alternative or sewing machine, a cattle, 
why don't you actually ensure a better long-term solution for example give scholarship to our children for better education for a higher education and this was amazing to think about the solutions they are coming up with thanks to Alifa's work more than 1,000 fishermen are one step closer to helping with sawfish preservation the wider community has started to understand that its meat can't cure human diseases and nautical superstitions are being put to rest. Fishermen are now more open to welcoming women aboard. <laughs>